This is Martin. Hi. Every afternoon, Martin plays with his train set while his baby brother takes a nap. But yesterday, something unusual happened. Martin tiptoed to the toy box and, when he lifted the lid, it made an awful squeaking sound. The noise woke the baby and Martin's brother was cranky all day. Ever since then, Martin has noticed that the lid makes the same noise every time he lifts it. This is a problem. Martin wants to play with his train set, but he cannot wake his brother. What should he do? Maybe he can solve his problem by thinking like a scientist. Scientists notice things because they pay close attention to the world around them. Scientists are also curious. They wonder about things and ask questions. Then, they investigate to find answers to their questions. Martin has already noticed that the toy box lid makes noise and wakes the baby. He wonders why the lid is making noise and how he can make it quieter. Now, he needs to investigate. As Martin decides what to do about the toy box, he might find that he has more questions. He can investigate to learn more. He can look closely at the toy box to see if he can find a reason for the problem. Scientists guess and test their answers. Once Martin makes a guess and thinks he has found an answer, he can test to see if the answer solves the problem. Sometimes, when scientists test their answers, they do not solve the problem. They may need to keep investigating to find a new answer to the problem. Sometimes, while testing an answer, scientists notice other things that lead to new questions. Scientists do not give up. They investigate and test their answers until they solve a problem or answer their questions. Martin's first test is to cover the toy box with a blanket to muffle the sound, but the loud squeak still wakes his brother. His next test is to use a stick to prop open the lid so that he does not have to open it anymore, but his dad tells him this test is not safe. Martin does some more investigating by asking his parents what they might know about the problem. They tell him that the hinges sometimes squeak when the metal rubs against itself. The new test is to put some oil on the hinges to stop the metal from rubbing against itself. This test works. The lid stops making the loud noise when Martin opens it. Scientists have solved all sorts of problems by using the same process. They've made medicines to help sick people feel better. They've built bridges to solve the problem of crossing water. They've created irrigation systems to solve water supply problems in areas that don't get much rain for growing crops. Scientists have even created rocket ships and satellites to solve the problem of space exploration. There are many other problems that scientists have already solved or are working on solving right now. Their hard work is all because people notice things in the world around them and wonder why those things occur and what can be done to fix them.